What is up guys, it's Mega giving you another deck for Link Evolution. This time we're going to be doing a Six Samurai deck. This deck is of course my opinion at the end of the day and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with any of the cards shown in this video. The Six Samurais are actually a very powerful deck guys, you can, spawn the, you can spam the field so quick. However, cards such as Fire War Dragon and Summon Sorceress abandoned this game, so I've had to change the deck, um, or the extra deck a little bit because obviously they are very powerful. Um, like I say in every single video, if you're struggling with any cards, check out the card hub. Not only does it show you where cards are, if they are in the game, where it shows you if they're in like a, um, a card pack, challenge mode, you name it, they'll tell you where it is. I am going to apologise about not doing a Stardust Assault deck. It's because the, a lot of the Assault cards, the, the new support, aren't in the game. So you have to make a deck that's from like four to five years ago and it's just not good in my opinion yet because um, Needle Fiber isn't in this game and Needle Fiber is vital for any single Synchro deck ever and cards such as I think it's Arsenal Sniper isn't in this game as well and those two cards if they were in Assault would actually be a good deck so with that guys I'm going to apologize and let's go on to the video Okie dokie, this is a 46 card deck guys, you might think, whoa, 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 what the hell are you doing, 46 cards, that's far too much. Believe me, you search through this deck so fast, it's untrue, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Starting us off though, is the grand one copy of the Grandmaster of the Six Samurai, you need one guys, because it has an effect where you can only control one grand Grandmaster at a time. And should you control a Six Samurai, you special summon this guy. He's literally a warrior, so he's decent for the um, Ishtol plays. That's the only reason you realistically use it. Um, three legendary Six Samurai um, ka um, Kagiri. I, I'm going to struggle with these Six Samurai guys na um, names, guys, because I really don't can't pronounce them all. Um, should this guy be normal summon, you get special summon level 4 or lower Six Samurai. Um, it's great for a lot of them, since one of them allows you to search. Um, another one, like if you have another... Six Samurai can special summon it. There are a lot of effects that go in off just with special summoning them. And also it's a level three, um, three which is good for number 75. Um, the three copies of legendary Six Samurai Kaizen. Um, if you control a six, a six Samurai, you just summon this guy out. And because it's not once per turn, if you have any Six Samurai or a, a different Six Samurai you, and you had three Kaizens in your hand, summon all three of them. It's S simple as that. And if you control two or more um, six samurais, this card will, is a title go to 2100, which is uh, very nice. Uh, then the two copies of legendary six samurai Mizuro and um, Shi um, and Shina. Um, these two are kind of like a fire, uh, like, um, like yin and yang, um, fire and water kind of combo. So if you have one, you get special summon the other, and they both have that effect. Uh, they do have another effect we contribute them, but that's not the reason why you use them. You use them basically, you summon out one, you summon the other, you've got two level threes viable, go to 75, and also it's decent to go in to um, Ishtol as well. Because this deck is all about getting that Ishtol 75 and 86, I believe it's 86, 84, out straight away, like turn one. Uh, the two copies of Funa. One is too um, short, guys. Three is too many. Two is the correct amount. If it's destroyed by battle or by a card effect, you get special summon six samurai from your deck. And then also, if exactly one six samurai would be um, you control would be destroyed, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So it gives a little bit of protection as well. But the main thing is a tuner. We are running the synchro monster. That's the only reason you run run this card. Um, and the one copy of secret six samurai um, Hatsume. Um, she's actually very decent. You need need one though because it's because it's a normal summon. And realistically, you want to, if you want to use your normal summon, you kind of want it to be um, um, ka, uh, um, ka, um, Kaiki. Um, you don't really want to race it on her, but she is actually kind of decent. You banish two um, six samurais from your graveyard, and uh, then you get to target a six samurai or two six samurais in your graveyard or field. And then you get to special summon the six samurai from your graveyard. So she can recycle the next monster or she can just recycle a lot of cards. She can even banish herself to summon out a six samurai card from the grave. Then the main guy, the um, the um, Kazuru. Um, when this guy is special summoned, you get to add a six samurai with um, with a different attribute than what's on the field to your hand. So um, when you go for the Ishtol, you go into this card, you get search out your six samurai, depending what's on the field, you add it, then boom, you summon it because of, because of its effect, like I say. Then finally, we're running the three copies of Spell Striker. And this card is actually very good, guys. For a 
um, six samurai because it's a warrior, so it's searchable with Rhoda. Um, it's and and also because it is a warrior, it's fantastic for your spell plays. And literally, all you have to do is summon this card, banish a spell. We have 26 spells in our grave, you just banish one, summon it. It's as simple as that. It is so good, and it's good for 75 players as well to build up those overlays. Um, and that's it for the monsters, guys. Going into the spells, we are running the bamboo engine. So that means we do have five equipped spells in this deck, but don't. But like I say, you go through them like that. You you go through this deck so fast, it's untrue. So we'll get to the bamboo engine when we get to the bamboo cards. So we've got two core by um, by the grave. You target one um, monster um, in the graveyard, banish it, and you negate its effect. Fantastic for hand traps. Your opponent tries to hand trap you. You literally just play this, negate it, have a nice day. Um, they try to move cards from the graveyard, like monster reborn or stuff like that. No, banish it. They can't do that. It's very good for interrupting players. Um, Cunning of the Six Samurai, only one copy of this. You get to send one Six Samurai monster you control to the grave, and then you get to target a Six Samurai monster in our player's grave, special summon it. So a little combo you could literally do if you have any Six Samurai in the grave, doesn't really matter. You can, and if you have, um, um, Ka uh, and if you have Ka um, Kazuro on, on the field, you literally just send it to the grave with um, Cunning, then... You literally bring back it, then you can reactivate its effect because Kaizu is effects is not once per turn. You, if you could some, keep summoning this, you just keep searching. So that's why Cunning is not bad. You only need the one though, and it's a quick, quick play as well. And free Cursed Bamboo Sword. It is a quick spell, guys. So realistically, we are running like uh, three, four. We are running like six. Um, oh no, like seven um, equi um, equips. Which may which may think stupid, but the curse bam but the curse bamboo engine is actually very good. So um you get to target one monster on the field, it gains their attack, doesn't matter. And then if it's sent to the graveyard, you get to add a bamboo card from your deck to your hand, which is just B. So um with Ish um with Ishtar, I'll get to her and why this why it's just o why it's just OP. But it's great for searching out the golden bamboo or or the broken bamboo, and then you can go go from there based on what you want to do. Um, one gateway is limited to one, guys, but you only want one anyway. Um, each time a, sam um, a six samurai is normal special summoned, you get to put two tokens on this card, and depending on how many tokens, depends on which effect you can play. So if you have two tokens, you get to target a six samurai on the field, it'll gain 500 attack, which is nice. If it has four counters, you get to add a six samurai from your deck or grave to your hand, and if you have six counters, you get to special summon a sheen monster from the graveyard. We don't have a sheen, so realistically, you only want to um, have counter four to search the um, deck out. Free golden bamboo sword, guys. It's part. It's literally part of greed. Um, if you have any bamboo um, sword, so even if you have cursed or if you have broken, this card will activate. You can just draw two cards, and it is very. And because I say with. Um, Cursed Bamboo Sword, you get to search the cards out. You can just set up your hand and just keep drawing all them cards you want. Um, another equip, we have a Living Fossil. You get to target a level 4 lower monster from the grave, special summon it, which is actually good if you want to do free combo extender. And also, because it's an equip, it's, it's um, live for a stole as well. Uh, monster Reborn, combo extender again, guys. Is you, you bring back a monster from the grave, uh, brave, go for it. Good for link plays, good for going out for the 75 um, combo as well. Uh, moon... Moon... Mirror shield, Jesus Christ, that's a tongue, um, tongue, tongue twister. You, um, another um, equip, guys. You're sending it to the grave majority of the time. If you draw into it, it's not end, end of the world because it's able to. Um, you equip it to a monster. It will always have 100 attack points higher than the monster it's attacking. So no matter what, it's kind of fine. So it's actually a decent play. And then one noble arms. I can't even pronounce this card name, so I'm not even going to. Um, the only reason why I'm running this card, guys, specifically, is because Divine Sword Phoenix Blade is banned in this game. So I decided to take it out and put this card instead because you need the need this amount of uh, amount of equips, kind, um, kind of. Um, what it does is you target a warrior. You get to target one set card your opponent controls. You then your monster equips loses 500 attack. That's kind of it. So it's had a good, it's kind of good for popping your opponent's back row. But say if you're going to do that if you were scared and then wanted to go into your um, XCs or link plays, you just go for it. It doesn't matter. Um, Rhoda, every single card is searchable with Rhoda apart from Grandmaster, but we don't care about Grandmaster um, in that respect. But yeah, every single card is near enough search with Rhoda. And say if you literally just have reinforcement and spell striker, that's it. Because you search, because you search um, spell striker with, with the rotor. Because it's a spell, you just banish the rotor from the spell striker. It's just literally it's as simple as that. It's just broken. 
Um, three copies of Shin's, jo um, Shin's Jojo. Um, each time a six samurai or um, or a six samurai, so it's normal or special summoned, you get to place a token on it. You get to basically send this card with how many tokens it's got, and you get to special summon a, mon a six samurai from your deck, which level it's equal or lower to the tokens. So or count counters. So you want to get this up to three or four, depending on what depending on which monster you're missing for your combo, and then you just send to the grave special summon that. Um, that level kind of good as well especially if you're searching it with the um with um kai um kai kaizaru because you literally because then kaizaru's effect will trigger you get to search the other card especially if you have um zero on the field you get to search shiha and vice versa you literally you just keep and all this is just from sending the monsters to the grave you just keep going then sheen smoke signal the um free cops of this guys it is literally reinforcement of the army for six and um, for six samurais it's um, all of our level four, uh, or all of our level three or lower monsters, so our tuna, our um, um, Hatsume, um, and our um, fire, um, fire and water one, you literally search, search them out with this card, and also our legendary six samurai, um, ka, um, um, ka, um, Kagika, um, like so, you can just keep, you just keep going, searching out the deck, and because it's spells, spell strike will be liable, and you just keep going, Build, getting all the cards you need, go boom for turn one or turn two, go mad. The three copies of Six Samurai Unite, it's basically guys are part of Greed in a way, or um, or what's the other one, the Shard of Greed, um, so every time a Six Samurai is normal special summoned, you have to place a, to a counter on this, and you, uh, it max out a two, you basically send this card to the graveyard, and you draw cards equal to the counter, so you can just draw two cards. And it is so broken. It's so easy to summon out six samurai monsters. You literally just keep drawing, keep drawing for days. So combine this with the golden bamboo with the, the search cards. You just keep going. You just milling through that deck. You may be forty-six card deck, guys, but in turn two, you could easily have milled out twenty cards plus. It's just you just keep you just keep going. And then soul charge. It's not banned in this game. We're using it. You literally you you've set um, like you you like you go for the links the exceeds. Your cards are in the graveyard, bring them back, keep extending your combo. Yes, you can't special summon, but if you could bring out a beast mon, still like number eight, um, 86, giving up your um, battle phase for one turn, it literally does not matter because 86 will literally guarantee you the win. So it's just like, yeah, just have a nice day. It, it is so worth it. And then that's it for the extra deck, guys. Going on to, oh, go, oh going on for the deck, guys. Going on to the extra deck, we have the one copy of Secret, Sem Secret Six Samurai, um, is it Raihan? Um, this guy is like a con contact fusion. You don't need to use polymerization. Um, three six samurai with different attributes. Uh, basically, guys, he's kind of like um, this guy can stop dinos, which is kind of nice. Which um, uh, dinos, uh, I, say, I have played against a few, and this card ca does count counteract them. Um, once per turn, you get to banish a six samurai, including itself, because it is classed as six samurai, um, or. Uh, um, from your hand or face up on the field and then you get to target one card in the field and you get to banish it And if a six samurai you control be destroyed battle by card effect You can send this card from your you can banish this card from your grave instead, which is just great So your opponent tries um, so your opponent's got a card just banish a six samurai from your hand or grave um, um, Of this card banish their card get out of the way And then for the synchro we've got legendary six samurai she um, Sheehan Absolute um, beast, guys! If you want to bring this out, what it does is, it has a it has an effect where your opponent can only activate. Um, well, you um, well, it, no, I should know that Sheen's um, um, wrong one. Basically, if your opponent tries to activate a spell or trap, you get to um, negate negate the activation if you do destroy it, which is just great. And the six, and if this card will be destroyed by battle by card effect, you get to destroy another six samurai um, you want instead. But a level five guys with 2,500 attack is kind of very good. And I say shush sh sh your opponent from playing a spell or trap. So they try and go for their combo extender or starting off their combo, you just negate it. They can't do it. And going on to the Xyzers, guys, the two copies of 75 bamboozing and then 86. Basically, you use bamboozing to get into 86 because um, you use as many level threes as you want. Say you have two level, um, you have two level fours and two or three level threes. 86 is live and it is just broken. That that e equals GG's because what 75 can do is it has two effects. You don't want really to use its first effect. You mainly just use its second effect. Its first one is um, should your opponent's monster activate an effect, you can attach two season from this and change it. Change the effect to both players draw one card. 
that's not really why you're going to use this. You use this card because you get to target one other ex um, number, Xyz Mon, and transfer its overlay unit and itself to that monster. So say you just have four monsters on the field, two level threes, two level fours, so easy to do. You literally exceed summoning, see, you, you see summon both of them. Then you use bamboozing to go um, and or then you use bamboozing to um, and attach it to 86. 86 has its ultimate effect and you literally win. Your opponent can't do anything. They just shut, they literally just pass or set a card. It's literally easy as that. And the more monsters you attach to this card, it means the more Xyzers 86 is going to have. And speaking of 86, the one copy of this, you could even have three if you want, but I just want to run because we are running the um, links as well. What it does is, guys, you get to talk, um, is once per turn, do, um, turn you have to use an overlay, you, you have to attach an overlay unit during your opponent's turn, and that kind of hinders it, so if your opponent does stall, they can get around this, but the main reason you're going to do, do this is because it has, an, it has effects based on how many overlay units, and they do stack. So, if you have five or more, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls, so if you literally just have four monsters and go overlay to 75 and 86, attach... 75 to 86 via its effect, it has 5 overlay units. Straight away, you don't need to invest any more, just 4 monsters. Has 5 overlay units, boom. Every single card your opponent, opponent has wiped out. Just gone. Then, because it has 4 more, your opponent cannot normal special summon on the next turn. So they can't play any monsters. All they can do is just set cards or play cards. They can't normal summon or special summon anything. And then because it has three, it's unaffected by other card effects. So even if they have, say they top deck, I don't know, a Raigeki or Buckle or anything like that. No, they can't do that because it can't, well, they can do that, but it can't, can't be destroyed. Because there's two or more, it um, gains 1,500 attack, so it has 3,000 attack points the second it hits the board. And because it has one or more, it can't be destroyed in battle. And all this is because you exceed, um, you exceed summon two monsters, so it's just broken. It's literally just broken. Bring out number eight, bring out number eight six, turn one or turn two, equals GG. You just win. And going on to the links, guys, we are running the one binary sorceress. I decided to use this in, um, because of the um, link arrows, because um, it's actually kind of, kind of decent in itself. But because um, Nightmare Goblin was banned, I um, decided to do this because it has the same um, like link positions. So it is actually a kind of a decent card. Um, card. Um, one Borrow Sword Dragon, guys. MVP needs no introduction. Um, three or more effect monsters, guys. Can't be sure in battle. Once per turn, you can target one monster on the field. Um, that's in attack mode. Change the defense. This card can attack twice. Should this opponent attack a monster your opponent has, that's it. It loses half its attack and Borrow Sword gains it. And because it has a nice little um, niche effect, guys, because the effect is a quick effect. So you've actually got, I don't know, any one of your monsters. Let's pick one. Um, I don't know. You've got um, Hatsume on the field. Say she decided to do an attack. You can then use Borrow Sword's effect to switch her into defense mode. Then Borrow Sword can attack twice. So you kind of gain like an extra attack just because you have a monster on the field. You can just switch to defense mode. Like you, they can still attack. Then you switch them to defense. Then Borrow Sword attacks twice. It's just broken. Um, de um, one copy of um, Deco Talker. I used this for the um, Link Arrows again because Summon Sorceress is banned. So I decided to get a same copy as its um, like same um, arrows pointing, and it's very good generic as well. Um, it gains 500 attack for each monster it points to, and also should your opponent activate a card or effect that targets a card. Um, 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 a card you control, you can use a quick effect, you can tribute one of its um, links. So it's actually very good as well, but the MV, but the best card in this deck is Stoll. You bring out this, turn one, turn two, you've literally milled most of your deck. Like, um, so, say you literally just have in your hand two warriors. Like, you just two warriors, not using any other card, just two warriors, you can summon them both. You exceed, you link summoning into this, if Stoll's effect is going to activate, lets you search one card. So you get to search out a warrior. Then you're going to use her effect and send four equipped spells to the grave. So that's five cards you've sent to the grave, or so that's five cards you've searched already. It means this deck is now a 41. And then because um, um and then you get summoned the um you get summoned the ka um um the um the ka um the kai um kaizaru. Its effects gonna trigger, lets you search out another card, and then because you've sent, um, so that's uh, now six cards, and then because you've sent Cursed Bamboo, its effects going to activate, which lets you search out a bamboo card, so that's seven um, cards, all from Xyz summoning one monster. 
and that, and I say, it just keeps getting, like, all this, just from, from Link, from, I say, Xyz, from Link summoning one monster, you, that's it, you've gone through seven card, cards of your deck, and depending on which card you're added, you can just go mad. You could, um, say, like, you had, like, the correct, um, bamboo cards, boom, set, um, draw more cards. You've got other cards, like, you've got other plays in your hand, so you've got, depending on what's on your field, you can then go and special summon, um, like um, say, because you've got um, because you've got um, Kaiazu, you can play its effect and search out Kaizen. You can summon Kaizen, go straight into eighty six. You see what I mean? You just go, and all this is just literally just because you've summoned out one monster. Do uh, you link summon one one monster? It's just it's just broken. It's literally broken. And then with the nightmare cards are only one Cerberus, one Grip, Finn, one Phoenix, and one Unicorn. So um, Cerberus' effect is. You get to discard a card, special sum, um, destroy one special monster in your opponent's main zone, not extra zone, guys, so please bear that in mind. And also, all the nightmares share an additional effect where, if it's co linked, you get, um, when its effect triggers, you get to draw a card. So you get to replace the card you discard as well, so it's kind of good. Um, I started to use Nightmare Griffin to replace um, Fire War Dragon because of its links again, and um, it's just a good, um, good card. You get to search out, um, second it's summoned, you get to bring back one of our spells. So if you wanted to, you wanted to bring back the Golden Bamboo to draw two cards, go for it. You wanted to bring back any one of your Equip cards, um, one of your like Sheen, like Smokescreen, Rhoda, anything. Just go for it. Just bring, summon it out. And again, because, again, if it's, effect, if it's activated, you get to draw a card as well. Um, Nightmare Phoenix, it, um, you discard one card, destroy one spell or trap your opponent controls, which is AMD um, Small for back row removal. And then Unicorn, where you can discard one card and target one card in the field, and you compulse it back into the deck. Also, it has another effect as well, which I didn't know, where if it's co-linked to a Nightmare Monster on the field, you get to draw one card in your draws, um, um, you get to draw a, an, an additional card in your draw phase. So it's actually kind of decent as well. And then we're using Skull Dread. Um, based on how many uh, monsters you use to link summon it, it depends, depends on its effect. And um, if you use two or more, it can't, um, you can normal spell summon monsters to the zone. Um, um, all monsters normal spell summon gain through its attack. If you use three or more, it can spell summon one monster from your hand, which is great. Loving it. And then if it's um, four, um, you get to link. You get to draw three. It gets to draw four cards and place three of them from your hand to the um, hand to the great um, to the bottom of the deck. So that's very good as well. And then one underclock taker. Because say you've got any monster on the field that you want to choose, you target one opponent. You, you target one card your opponent has. Um, 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 has they lose attack points equal to the monster that this card's pointed to. So say you've got um, a barrel store this card points to, that monster's going to lose 3,000 attack. It's got, I don't know, um, a griffin, it's going to lose 2,500 attack. Just like that. Very, very good, guys. And that's it for the deck. I'm sorry I kind of rambled on a bit more, but this deck is actually very good. Uh, you may think 46 cards, but you go through it super quick. And it's just good for bringing out those six samurais very quick. Um, um, quickly, guys, and I do apologize like, again for the Stardust Soul. I am, um, I, I tried, I am trying, but you can't make it consistent without the without needle fiber and without um, the new assault support. So I do apologize on that. And like I say in every single video, comment on which deck you like to um, see. I think someone said they wanted to make a Cruselia deck. I don't know. I'll have to um, double check and um, check on that. Um, that and um, if you like um, like this deck, hit that like button down below because it really helps out the channel grow and I get to see which decks you guys prefer me to make. And with that, guys, I'm going to call it here. Enjoy the deck replays and have a good day wherever you are in the world. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.